So I'm a guy from Philadelphia um, that, that believes in this city and believes in the people of this city. And I especially feel myself drawn to trying to help those that are uh, less fortunate than me, that are struggling with, with issues, poverty, and behavioral health challenges, uh, that are medically vulnerable, that are on the street. I find myself drawn to helping those individuals, and to me, I feel it as an extension of love in this city. I have a unique opportunity in the position that I'm in to be able to be at a table with some other stakeholders across the city and make serious, major sweeping changes that impact the services for folks that are vulnerable, that are marginalized, that are on the street, that struggle with behavioral health issues. You can potentially save a life. You know, you may I may be the last person um, when an individual comes to their fork in the road, they might remember a conversation we had. They might remember a discussion we had at a, in a group or on a contact note on a, uh, during one of our sessions. And it could help change them and get them through to not do something that um, could be life altering for all parties involved. So that's what's most rewarding for me is to be able to help someone not victimize themselves or even people in society any longer and to be free. So currently I am an owner of my own business, LGH Consulting. I started it about three years ago to provide a little more flexibility in the way mental health providers do business. The most gratifying thing about the work in behavioral health is watching people's lives change. And this stuff is generational, and so if you heal a mother, if you change the life of a mother or a father, you're changing the life for their children and experience for their children and their grandchildren. People just need hope. People need to understand that people are in recovery and do recover. Just recently, um, I, have, I had lost my son, and my son was 34 years old, um, to an overdose. Um, so that has impacted me in a way where I question what I wanted to do. But in the positive part of it is when you see the work that you do come into fruition, when you see that person have a better quality of life and you be a part of that and that individual continues to seek its recovery, that is the most gratifying thing you can see when you see that person months or years later being a productive member of society. I feel impactful because I'm able to use my pain to turn it into something good, which doesn't feel like when we're in pain, we can't even imagine a way out, but then it, there is a way out and then it's, it's actually a beautiful way out to give someone hope. There's something very special about engaging with someone when they're in pain and watching the light come back on for them. I had a very personal situation yesterday where I was supporting someone and I'd been working with them for about six months, five months, and they actually shared with me yesterday that they don't need support in the way that we're giving it. They actually wanted us to reduce it. And you sit there and you're joyful because on their own, they told me that they wanted greater independence. And that's what it's all about. I think behavioral health work is about being a part of something that's bigger than you and affecting change. I'm a person with lived experience. Um, and what that means is that I have uh, multiple mental health diagnoses. I do a lot of mental health and trauma one-on-one -on -one talks to children and teenagers and high schools. What inspired me is being able to turn my lived experiences into a lived expertise. When I say it from the mountaintop, this is the best job I've ever had in my life. It helped bring me, usher me out of my past, and it's just as valid right now in my present. I got into the work as a case manager and it stuck. So that's what was also great about the behavior health field is that I didn't have to stay in one spot. I didn't have to continue to be a case manager. Um, after a few years, I was the director of the program um, and then was able to oversee multiple programs and have an effect there. So it, it's always room for growth. And I have to say, like, every day coming to work, it, it doesn't feel like a job for me. It, it really doesn't. It, it feels like a purpose. And I think that, you know, someone can find purpose in this work. If you're young and are looking for something to if you haven't found that, that, that pathway, this is a great pathway to find yourself.
because in, in, in doing this work, you find out who you are. Now I would tell uh, a person that's trying to come into this field or thinking about um, working in this field is that it's very impactful and like it's just a feel good feeling knowing that you are able to help your community. Are you in a situation where you're ready for that change? Because I think it's important to recognize that during your life you go through different stages. We have the ability to look at our careers at different periods and how taking that, that chance in doing something different um, has the ability to be able to change lives but also utilize the skills that you have. Open yourself up, be willing to experience new things and try it out. It'll stick. It is great hard work. It is great for, you know, just humans and you get paid for it. You get paid for doing great work. We need you. We, th this field needs young, talented individuals that are committed to helping others. Um, there's a lot of different aspects to the field. There's a lot of specialties that folks can get into. Um, everything from working with children, teenagers, to, to elderly, um, homeless, uh, substance use disorder, as I mentioned, or mental health challenges, uh, intellectual disability services. So there's a lot of different avenues you can take. but. We need you. If this speaks to you and you have a, a passion to help others, um, we need you.